Welcome back, you guys. Your boy CK. Now, I tried this idea a while ago in, with 50 states, but it just didn't work because we would land on some states that just didn't have NFL players at certain positions, so it took forever. This time, we're going to do it a little bit differently. On the wheel, we have states with only NFL teams. So in this video, we're not doing players born in the states that we land on. We're just doing players from the teams in the states that we land on. But I don't know if you guys have been seeing the matchups they've been posting like on social media of Cali versus Texas and things like that. I want to do that. If this video gets enough likes, I'll do like a mini tournament and get people that are actually born in the states to verse each other and uh, see who comes out on top. But on to the video. Some teams are not going to be chosen. Some states are going to be left out. That's the way the cookie crumbles. We begin with the quarterback position, man. Every team has a starting quarterback in the NFL. Now are they starting quarterback caliber? We're about to find out, man. The NFL teams in Michigan are... <laughs> Very nice pick, man. There could have been a lot worse quarterbacks that we could have had. He's in the upper tier, in my humble opinion, when he's healthy. I drafted him in fantasy last year. Thought he would go off. He got injured, unfortunately. Anyways, moving on to the running backs, we have North Carolina. Run CFC Christian freaking McCaffrey. It doesn't get much better than that. Actually, I don't think it does get better than that, man. The highest paid running back for a reason. Well deserved. He's going to be our starting running back, bro. Unbelievable. Like, we already guaranteed to make the playoffs, probably. At least I hope. I probably just jinxed myself. We need another running back, though. We we need another running back, man. McCaffrey, as good as he is, he gets tired. He's human, you feel me? So we're going with New Jersey. No way. All right, so uh, let's just say we're stacked at the running back position. Uh, moving on to the wide receivers, man. Starting with, uh, let's see. Let's see who you can start with. If you can get two wide receivers from each team that, you know, from the state that we land on, let's just see what we got. So that's the Cleveland Browns and the Cincinnati Bengals. We're getting John Ross, AJ Green, and Boyd. From the Bengals and from the Browns, we'll go with Odell and Jarvis. And now we're looking at the tight end position. Obviously, Pennsylvania will be lit. But I don't know if we're going to be that lucky, man. We've been pretty lucky so far. And uh, it looks like the luck has finally run out. If we did this last year, we would have had Jimmy Graham. But right now, their depth chart says Jay Sternberger and Mercedes Lewis are their top two tight ends. Now we're spinning for the offensive line. Whichever state this lands on, they're going to give us all of our offensive linemen. So I'm hoping they have multiple teams in that state. Georgia. All they have is the Falcons. I, I hope their O-line is not terrible. Moving on to the defense, baby. Let's start with the defensive line. Same as the offensive line. We're going to spin only one state is going to give us all our D linemen, and it's Maryland. So we're talking the Ravens and the Redskins. Not too many spots left, so this is how we're going to do the linebackers. We're going to spin twice unless we land on a state with two teams so minnesota is going to give us two linebackers i mean that could be inside that could be outside linebackers the two best they have to offer is who we're going to be getting man and then we're going to get two more from california they have four teams to choose from if we can't get like two elite linebackers from that group there's something's wrong same thing with the secondary unless we land on a state that has two teams we're going to spin twice man i want to get maybe two from one team and then like three from another indiana is going to be first up not sure if that was a subpar spin or not i mean i gotta check their depth chart i'm not knowledgeable about their current situation in the secondary man i do know about this one pennsylvania man we get big play slay not to mention pittsburgh okay i, I didn't forget them they are still going to give us at least one cornerback uh but yeah we're moving on to the safeties here we go free safety and strong safety we're gonna get them from washington that is washington the state not washington the city so we're not looking at dc we're not looking at the redskins we're looking at the seahawks plenty of states to choose from for the kicker and punter position right now we're spinning for the kicker okay I, justin tucker's gone he's out of here bro i don't so i don't know who we can get colorado they have a good kicker i hope brandon mcmanus i'm pretty sure he has like 99 kick power something ridiculous he's i know he's top three uh, last time I played Mutt, he had like a juiced up card. So yeah, I, I think we're in good hands when it comes to the kicker. Last but not least, the punter straight from New York. Believe it or not, the only team that actually is in New York is the Buffalo Bills. The Jets and the Giants are in New Jersey. So we got to go with the Bills punter. So there it is. Our team is complete. I'm going to go ahead and assemble the squad and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Only an 85 overall, you know, we started off strong, like, you know, the Walking Dead. And then over time, we started deteriorating just a little bit. And now, uh, this is what we ended up with like our first three picks were solid we had stafford mccaffrey and saquon our wide receivers pretty good i'd say they're above average man odell aj boyd landry then we got to the old line where we have one guy that's higher than an 80 our tight ends aren't much better mercedes he's not terrible but he's not like elite then on the defense we rebounded just a little bit calais an elite d lineman we have some solid 
guys next to him. Linebackers, however, besides Kendricks and Quan, I don't know. Anthony Barr is going to be our backup MLB. Leonard Floyd, our outside linebacker. I was disappointed with the state of California. Like, y'all couldn't give us better linebackers than this. I guess that's like their weakest position. I'm happy with my cornerbacks. Big play, Slay, Nikel, Roby, Coleman, Hayden, Nelson from the Steelers, and then Kenny Moore, and you can't see him, but Xavier Rhodes. Our safety straight from Seattle. We have McDougal, we have Hill, we have Diggs, and we have Blair. And then our kicker, McManus. Yes, I think he did have like 99 kick power. Something ridiculous. Okay, 97. Close enough. And then Corey Boyorkas. Or Bajorquez. I, I, one of those was the correct one. I apologize for the other one. This whole division is a mess. 4 3 and 1. We're on top of the division, but we have a tie on our record. To Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals. Stafford got sacked once, two interceptions to go along with it. They shut down McCaffrey and Barkley. Like, I understand you can shut down one of them, but both of them in the same game, that's kind of reckless. We got to beat the division rival Saints, man. They're already ahead of us in the standings. This is a huge game. This got to be the closest I've ever seen the overalls, man. 85 to 86. I kind of like it like this. Like, instead of just dominating our way to the Super Bowl, we're actually going to have to struggle and earn our way to the big dance, man. It's going to be a good one. Falcons fans, let me know. Are the Saints your most hated rival? Like, I know as an Eagles fan, mine are the, the Cowboys, but curious what yours are. Here we go. They're going to pass the ball. Okay. He's going underneath. Damn it. Everyone was paying attention to Michael Thomas. What are the chances they go to the run with Alvin Kamara? One is third and one. Let's find out. Okay. Big chances. Big chances. Big tackle. I'm still confused how the Cardinals shut down both McCaffrey and Saquon. Like McCaffrey having a bad day. Saquon going to eat. Okay. If one of them not doing well, the other one's going to cook. I promise you. Odell doing an out route right at the sticks. That's what I like to see. Man coverage too. Oh yeah. That's easy. That's what? Stafford, I need you to dial it back just a little bit. Okay, you throw power a little too much. Oh, God, Cameron Jordan, he's going to be a problem, but we just got rid of it right there. That was a nice floaty. Here we go. Oh, God. oh he got stopped on his own player. Or our other wide receiver is cock blocking, man. That's just unfortunate. It is what it is. First drive ends with a turnover, but we're going to get it back. I have faith in our defense to get the ball right back. Another run. They love handing off to Kamara, bro. We got run defense. You know what? I, I, I have no doubt in my mind they're going to run the ball again. And we have uh, Slay on Thomas, so I'm, I'm not worried about him. We going right, we ready for the run. Look at the penetration in the backfield. Odell in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Last time he beat his man easily. You know, this time hopefully the pass could be a little bit more accurate. Oh, God. Cameron Jordan needs to relax. He needs to stop it. Why not go to the Wildcat for the lulls? Let's see if we can get uh, Landry on the edge. Hey, he can, take, he can take it to the crib. You never know. He can take it. Oh, Landry with the spin move. Landry getting us three yards. Two-minute warning has just been reached, and they're running the ball again. Kamara getting a ton of touches in this one. To be fair, they do that a lot in real life, too. There's some games where Kamara just go crazy with the touches, man. Oh, my God. Michael Thomas getting in on the action. I'm on a nice little win streak against, you know, actual human players, but in franchise mode, I'm struggling. I don't know what that means, but I don't know. Maybe it means I'm trash. Okay, damn it. Oh my gosh. How did we not intercept that? 47 seconds to get down the field and uh, get at least three points. Yo, this new gotta relax. He has to relax. I'm, I'm worried about Cameron Jordan. That's why I'm throwing these bad passes. I think I have a built-in excuse if anyone ever says I'm trash again. Like, I went online with the worst quarterback and I won a game with Josh Woodrum. Yes. Okay, so like I have a built-in excuse. There we go. We got the INT, so they are not all the way trash. Odell, I'm looking for you. AJ, one of y'all gotta get over. Look at the double team. He still got through. He still got through. I don't know what to do. It's time to super sim. Yo, they low-key came back without me. I might be the problem. Ooh. Stafford ended up throwing darts. 18 for 31. One touchdown without me. We couldn't get anything going on the ground, though. I, I don't know if it was just me or just the Saints have incredible defense. Probably a mixture of both. Okay, look at these dudes. 9, 6, and 1 might have been enough to make the playoffs. Thank God the NFC was terrible, man. We squeaked in it through the wild card spot, man. Look at all these teams. Just 7 to 9, 8 and 7. Low-key, one of the worst seasons I've seen in a minute, man. It's only 28 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, not even 4,000 yards, 66 pass completion percentage. But that's because the running game was just dominant. 12 touchdowns for McCaffrey, 9 for Barkley. McCaffrey had zero fumbles on 234 attempts. At least the touchdowns were spread around quite nicely. Odell was the only 1,000 yard receiver but everyone got like five or so touchdowns. McCaffrey only got one through the air. Barkley had two. Two linebackers led the team in tackling. No surprises there. Calais had 20 tackles for a loss. That is insanity. Leonard Floyd led the team in sacks. No one was in double digits. That's a little surprising. Three people had two interceptions, all of them in the secondary. Two forced fumbles on the season. One of them Hayden, one of them Eric Kendricks. Look at the Ron Payne, two block kicks. That is insane. Floyd had one. And then there was one safety from Calais. He had to win some sort of award, bro. Guess 
guess who's in the top 10 for MVP? Mitchell Trubisky. He squeezed in at number eight on a seven and 19. Like I understand if he was like 13 and three, 10 and six at least. But he's always under 500. It just it blows my mind. Okay, the Cowboys look like they might be a problem. They have the first two spots for OPOY in the NFC. DPOY, where's Calais? Nowhere to be found. All right, best QB at least. Stafford, yeah, I don't expect. Okay, number 10. That was a little surprising. Best running back. Okay, McCaffrey, let's go. I like that. Best wide receiver. Maybe Odell could squeak in here. No. Okay, there it is. Number 10. Best old lineman. Cowboys had three. Saints had two. Eagles had two. Nope, Cowboys had four, actually. We only had one. Best D lineman, though. Where is Calais, bro? They're, they're hoeing him. Only number nine. Linebackers don't expect anyone to be here. What about DBs? Maybe big play slate. Maybe Hayden. Yeah, Hayden had a pretty good season, but not good enough. Nine, six, and one versus nine and seven. I hope we can come away with the W. 28 to seven. Do you know how hard it is to beat one team three times in the same season? That's what the Saints are going to have to do if they're going to beat us in the divisional round. I told you, man. 34 24, we cooked them uh oh falcons versus the rams i'm pretty sure this was a matchup like a few years ago the falcons got the better of the rams even though they were the lower seed let's hope that can happen again 24 to 17 bro we are cruising you literally cannot make this up what the hell bro the falcons versus the patriots let's see if the falcons can get revenge yes sir yes they can 21 to 18 they did it stafford threw zero interceptions brady threw zero as well but once again the run game carried us man both from average over five yards per carry james white was held relatively in check stafford added a touchdown on the ground on six scrambles man he, he was taking off when he needed to this is the rest of the stats so the answer is yes a team built with a wheel of states can win a Super Bowl, man. It was looking iffy. We were at like, what, 4-4-1 four, four, and one at some point? And then he just turned it up to another notch, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you want to see those matchups, Texas versus Cali, or what was the other one, like Pennsylvania versus Ohio, there's just a bunch of them. Destroy the like button, man. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'm uploading every single day during the quarantine. 